Alright guys, how's it going? Uh, Iron Man here. Uh, I'm going to answer a few questions about jailbreaking. And I'm going to put it in the description, annotations, all that good stuff on how to do it. Um, first off, I'm not, I'm not recommending this. Um, I say this because you're doing this at your own risk. Of course, I had no problems with it. I'm 100% satisfied. And I'm sure you guys will be too. But there have been things where, you know, possibly maybe you could break your iPhone, break your iTouch, but that hasn't happened uh, very many times. So, y if something does go wrong, you can restore it, which is what you have to do uh, when you're following the directions. I'm actually not going to do it because I don't have a computer right here, but I am going to put it in the description. It's very blunt, very straightforward, very extremely user-friendly, which is the one that I use. It's going to tell you everything you need to know. Um, I'm going to give you some tips real fast, though. So, and you'll know what I'm talking about when you load this, uh, the, uh, information on how to do these step by step. Uh, first thing is make a folder on your desktop. I dragged it to the middle. Uh, name it whatever you want, but name it something noticeable, like I named mine, um, jailbreaking for the iPhone. Uh, name it whatever you want. That's going to be your main folder to put all of your stuff in so you know where uh, it's at and you know where to save it. When you open the, uh, description, the link that I'm going to give you, you do want to um, download the 2.2 software for the iPhone 3G, and you're going to need to put that in the file. Um, I, uh, some people didn't think that you had to, but you actually do. Again, you'll know what I'm talking about when I give you the link in the annotations and in the descriptions over there. Um, the next thing I want to talk about... Um, uh, some people have hard times doing the hold and uh, hold button and home button thing, but this uh, what I use the opponent's tool. It gives you a timer and it tells you when to let go exactly and when to start. So you're, you shouldn't have any problems with that at all. Um, other than that, I think that's pretty much it. Oh, another tip: whenever you are loading it and you are actually installing the um, program to your iPhone. You do not want to minimize the program because there have been people who could not bring it back up. So that is a main problem you need to do. Do not minimize it. Stay with that program only. Another thing, you will be opening iTunes because you're going to need to create a backup, which is very mandatory. If you do not create a backup, you're going to be screwed if something goes wrong. So after you create the backup in iTunes, I want you to exit iTunes because... Some people have had problems with that as well, like having iTunes and the Ponies tool open at the same time may screw something up. So that is another tool you want to exit out of iTunes completely and then start the Ponies tool program. Um, another one, uh, so you don't get screwed up. What was the other one? Well, I'm going my blank here, guys. I'm sorry. Um, I'm trying to just pull this out out of nowhere here. But um, after you do the file thing and you don't want iTunes opened. Like I just said, uh, what else? I know there's another one. I can't think of it right now. Okay, but um, once you get that started, follow the directions. It gives you clear directions. You um, don't want to unplug anything, obviously, while it's going through the installation. Oh, the other tip I was thinking of, it just came to me. Um, go to your settings before you start anything on your iPhone and um, make it to where it uh, won't shut off after mine set after a minute. You know, when it uh, goes on hold and uh, kicks off, you want that to the maximum amount or never because while it's loading, you don't want that to shut off while it's loading. I'm not saying that that would be a problem. You can turn it back on, but that's for just safety reasons. Another thing, actually, in case you guys didn't know, this does void your warranty with Apple. No, it is not illegal to jailbreak. It's completely fine. So, um, what I've done, uh, I've gotten a, a lot of new things on this thing and I know a lot more than I did in my first video. I'm actually going to make a video on how to do some uh, different things and work with this. So you will be getting more of this um, very soon. Show some little tweaks and little tricks with these things. Uh, as you can see, I have no pages. I have two pages. I actually got all my applications and I put them in files. which I thought was really cool. But uh, staying on topic, uh, those are your tips. I'm going to put the description on how to do it, uh, open that page, and you'll be good to go. I want you to follow every single thing it says. You don't want to skip anything whatsoever because it might screw you over. But uh, very easy, very user-friendly. 
it'll help you get through it if you're thinking about jailbreaking. Uh, if you have any more questions about it at all, uh, please don't feel free for, uh, excuse me guys, feel free to PM me, and uh, I'll get right back to you as soon as possible. But uh, thanks for watching this video. If you like my videos and they help you out, please don't forget to subscribe. And if you can, uh, throw a little rating in this video. It's probably not my best. I'm just throwing some things out there. Uh, I'll catch you guys later.